Currently, Russia is the only country in the world to operate airborne tanks. The Sprut SDM-1 is officially referred as a self-propelled anti-tank gun or tank destroyer, though it is a light tank by its function. This vehicle is based on the BMD-4M chassis, but with a much larger 125mm smoothbore gun. 2S25 uses some fire control elements of the T90MS main battle tank. It is a modern-day tank destroyer manufactured by Volograd Tractor Factory. Sprut is designed to defeat tanks, hard-skinned material and enemy manpower by airborne and amphibious landing forces, as well as by special designate units of ground forces. Sprut SDM-1 was first publicly revealed in 2016. It can be transported conveniently by military cargo aircraft and assault landing ships and is airdroppable by parachute with the crew inside the vehicle, with a weight of 18 tons only. The tank is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver. Visible features include 125mm 2A75M smoothbore tank gun, which has similar characteristics to those of the 2A46M5 gun. A coaxial machine gun of 7.62mm caliber is mounted to the left side of the main armament, and a remotely controlled weapon station, mounted on the top of the turret which is also armed with a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun. Further for defense, there are two banks of three smoke grenade dischargers mounted on the front side of the turret. The gun is fitted with an automatic ammunition loader, with a rate of fire of 6 to 8 rounds per minute. It is capable of firing APFSDS, high explosive fragmentation, heat, and guided missile rounds. The 125mm ammo load comprises of 40 rounds, of which 22 are in the autoloader and 18 are stowed. The projectiles have an effective range of 2000 meter while the anti-tank guided missile reaches 5000 meter. Because of mobility constraints, the vehicle does not have sufficient armor. The hull and turret of the 2S25 is of all welded aluminum armor with a composite skin. With limited armor, its front arc withstands only 12.7mm round hits. All round protection is limited to 7.62mm fire and artillery shell splinters. Add-on skirts can be fitted for a higher level of protection. This combat vehicle is equipped with NBC protection and automatic fire extinguishing systems. The vehicle is fitted with a new fire control system and new panoramic sight mounted to the rear top side of the turret. The panoramic sight is similar to the system used on the latest T-90 MS main battle tank, which is an independent commander's sight with thermal vision. It allows to acquire and engage targets faster. Once the tank commander spots a target, it is selected and the gun is laid on the target automatically. The gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such an engagement method is called hunter-killer, and is present on all modern main battle tanks. Sprout SDM-1 comes with a new TD-29 multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 500 horsepower. The same naturally aspirated engine is used on the BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle, and recent BMD-4M airborne combat vehicle. It can run at a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 500 km. The vehicle is able to negotiate 35% forward slope. The most important feature is its hydro-pneumatic suspension with variable height control, which allows the vehicle to lean in any direction. The driver can adjust ground clearance of the vehicle from 190mm to 590mm. It is fully amphibious propelled in the water with 8 of 2 water jets, and have maximum speed of 7 km per hour submerged. The balance between weight and armor is a major challenge for tank designers while developing light tank. This tank destroyer is as powerful as a main battle tank and as maneuverable and amphibious as airborne infantry combat vehicles. But on protection and armor domain it is not up to mark. 
Further, the absence of active protection system and presence of 40 shells in a weak armor make its survival in the battlefield questionable. However, the tank holds strategic value than regular MBTs in service, as IL-76 cargo aircraft can carry two of these light tanks. Light and weight and high power to weight ratio of 28.3 horsepower per ton enables the vehicle to operate in difficult terrain like marsh and water obstacles which is the real purpose for which this vehicle is developed.